Hello, my name is Dr. Matt Harris, and this is my educational technology vlog. Um, I was doing some writing and some reading the other day, and a, and a topic just kind of popped into my head. I thought I'd just wax about a little bit on, on a blog post, and that is the importance of an educational technology department for a school. And, and one of the things that I realized, or maybe realized years ago and have kind of coalesced in the last few weeks is, if you really want to know about the inner workings of a school or a school district or even, I would even argue a ministry of, of education um, or department of ed, you just have to talk to the technology people. And I'm not suggesting just talking to the IT people, but really the educational technology team. I would say the whole team. And the reason I say that is as you're looking at educational technology, realize the impact and the, and the breadth of connections that we have. And so I kind of, I look back at some of the work that I've done from a leadership perspective and my, my work on the ground, and I realize that at the schools that I've worked in, there's very little that I didn't have vision into or, or influence in. So, um, you know, I've done a lot of work in international schools and independent schools, um, and I've done them from a, mostly from a leadership or administrative perspective, but I've also worked as a teacher. And, and what I've seen is the technology touches about everything. So whether it's facilitating the things that need to get done or is actually a major part of the decision-making process, that educational technology department probably knows the inner workings of the school better than, than anybody, except for maybe the school secretary, right, who's, who's really in charge of the school. I mean, let's be honest. And I was thinking about um, an experience I had at one of my previous schools where I was a director of technology um, and I was teaching. Um, and thinking about the things that we had to do as an independent school to, to connect with, with um, making sure the organization moved forward. Um, from the education side, I was involved um, as a teacher and as an educational technology professional in curriculum development quite a bit. I helped develop the curriculum maps. I helped identify the software. Um, and I got to work with the teachers on how do we integrate technology into their learning, which required that we took a look at pedagogic approaches, the written curriculum, the taught curriculum, the assessed curriculum, and said, okay, these are the leverage points. This is where we can put, this is where we can put technology in there. Um, and then also being a teacher, I recognize that the technology elements of my practice were, were pretty big, were pretty big and, and definitely were a touch point that I thought about how does the technology further facilitate the learning that I want to see in my students. So the actual teaching experience within the classroom and through the uses of our learning management system, though the teaching experiences outside of the classroom were definitely touched by technology. In terms of student experience, there was nary a system on campus, whether it was student pastoral work or um, student advising, university career sorts of things, um, student communications, student technology that wasn't influenced or, or touched upon um, or understood by us as a technology department, nothing, nothing went f away from that. And there were, there were so many points in which I got to work with students, whether it was through digital citizenship work or um, you know, teaching direct classes or problem solving or helping them do work. I, I remember students doing um, community service or extended essay work and coming to me and us working together to help them complete their work um, in, in a very efficient and effective manner. So. Technology has that connection with the students, and because the students are often so excited about technology, it's, it's really a great, a great connecting point. So I got to learn the names of tons of students, um, saw more faces that I could count, and be, be a part of their lives. And then I started looking at the, the non-educational systems, um, non-teaching non and learning systems, that is but still used by the teacher. So our learning management system, our student information system, our assessment system, our reporting systems, those are all electronic. Our, our parent-teacher conference systems. I knew I had a touch point and my department had a touch point with how parents and teachers were interacting. You know, how are we generating reports? How are we delivering feedback? How are we taking in feedback? Who is teaching where? What are the, what are the critical relationships between some of these parents? And then what you found is that the PTA and the parent body, um, their connection to the school oftentimes would come through email communications, some sort of other electronic method, our student information system, our website, 
or various portals, right? So these connections were done primarily or facilitated primarily from an organizational level, not from a content level, but an organizational level from the tech department. So we were facilitating these communications and when people had issues or you know, parents wanted additional information or they, they needed to verify things, those were all somehow being influenced or understood by the technology department. So we had to understand how the student information system worked and how these pieces all connected together who were the parents on the board of uh, directors or on the PTA or, you know, all of those elements. So we had to know those people, which is also another critical part of the, um, the operations of the school. Um, in terms of strategic planning, technology seemed to be involved with that quite a bit, not just in the operational elements, but we had many, many conversations and I still do today of what is technology going to allow us to do? As we look towards the next X number of years, three years, five years, or the future of the school, what is technology gonna do for learning? What is technology gonna do for our data systems, for our operations, our, our maintenance systems? Um, and oftentimes we looked at it from an efficiency standpoint on the operation side, um, to legacy and backup, to really expanding out what is possible in teaching and learning from our, our curriculum and pedagogy side. Again, Everybody within my department, be the ed tech coaches or the IT staff or me or librarians, had a had a, an, uh, an involvement there. You know, we had a connection there. So again, there's a piece of the of the school that we were connected to. On the operations side, the finance and the maintenance and the human resources elements, those all ran on systems that we had to run. So the financial package, the HR system, the recruiting systems, those were all running on systems that were either administered at our school um, or designed through the cloud through us. So we, we had to ensure that they were working. Now the content wasn't ours and the operation wasn't ours or even some of the strategic uses of them like for, for financial planning or budgeting or, or some of the recruiting work, but those aren't done through the technology team, but the technology team has to understand how they work in order to make them efficient and, and fit for purpose for that specific department. So we had to understand how the HR system was working and what sort of processes they had in place, what sort of workflows they had developed um, so that the system could make that happen or they would have to change their workflows because of the limitations of whatever systems that we had chosen. That was all facilitated through my tech team. Um, same with the financial pieces um, and even maintenance. So we helped to develop deferred maintenance programs, and we were um, looking at how do you how do you do asset management, asset tracking, vendor relations using CRMs. All of those sorts of things came through the planning of our technology department. Um, our data systems manager was ensuring they all fit together and all worked, and he had to have a very detailed understanding of again of the of each of those departments as individual silos. What I find most interesting is that. Very few people, though, understood the inner workings of those operational departments. And because we were integrating these data systems and ensuring that they connected with our student information system, we had to understand exactly where data was flowing back and forth. What happens when a new student comes in or a teacher leaves? What goes on with that? How do we facilitate the communications? How do we ensure that people are getting paid? How do we make sure that we maintain data long enough for when people exit out of the system or, or that they have the best materials available to them when they jump into the system. That interlocking connection, that kind of systemic view, I found really only came from the technology department, which is very, very interesting. And then there was one element of the school that I, I until I really jumped into it and saw the work that we were doing, I didn't realize how impactful we were. And that, that's the advancement area. And, and I'm gonna use kind of an American approach to advancement. I see advancement as marketing, admissions, and development or, or fundraising. And you realize that every single one of those departments is very tech heavy, and a lot of them draw on data that are housed in other systems. So technology has to have, a, has to, a, has to have more than just a touch point, but has to have an involvement in that. So our tech, our IT staff, um, myself, we had to understand what the systems they were using, what the purposes they were using them for, how to ensure that the technology was not a hindrance, but, but pushing things forward for them. So we helped in the design of 
um, or the implementation of an admission system that had a workflow built in that matched up with our needs as an independent school. We helped the development team put together campaigns, um, fundraising goals, and events. Those would all run through systems that we helped them help them put together. And the marketing team has collaterals and, and connections to our website and all sorts of other pieces that are very IT heavy. Where we get to sit on the bottom here and really use systemic knowledge of all of these pieces is that we help design data systems and processes and communication strands that can better, uh, better improve the efficiency of the system, of the organization. You can really only do that if you understand how the entire system works. And so I guess what I'm saying within this vlog is not necessarily patting the ed tech or the IT people on the back, but kind of suggesting to teachers and leadership and to those learning more about schools that if you're looking for a top-down view of, an or of the organization and a bottom-up view of the organization, talk to the IT department. Talk to the ed tech person. Ask them how things work together and where, where the strength and weakness points are. It was funny, we, we did this with boards of governors, which also it tends to be one that is connected very heavily to IT because they are involved in strategy and fiduciary responsibilities of ensuring that there are backups and, and um, financial systems are in place. Um, but they also have a number of board minutes and communication structures and elections that all have to be run through, through school-specific IT systems. And it's when you have that connection with the board and when you're talking with them about here are the true operations of what we're doing, here's how we're ensuring things are going forward, here's how we're leveraging technology to improve teaching and learning and these are our expected outcomes or these are what we're moving towards and, and here's how we're articulating it. The board has an understanding of what you're doing, and it creates such a strong relationship. And so that to me was just a reinforcement of the fact that, that ed tech is tied to everything within a school system. And so if you really want to understand a school or a school district or, or a large-scale educational organization like that, go talk to the ed tech people. We, are, we are, are at the center of it, and they are incredibly valuable. Thank you. Have a good day.